Hello and welcome to another Lawson Estate Agents video viewing. We're here today to see this really, really lovely mid-terrace property on Edgecombe Park Road in Peveril. With three bedroom, um, lots and lots of period features, finished to a really high standard throughout. Um, for those of you not familiar, obviously Peveril is um, quite a sought after part, of, well, a very sought after part of Plymouth. Um, lots of very characterful, co uh, not cottages, properties out this way. Um, high ceilings, moulded plaster works, they are beautiful houses. Um, and because of that, they do um, have a real appeal. Um, on road parking for the property, um, and then there's a rear, rear access lane and a rear terrace as well. Um, but as I say, the property we're here to see today is this one. So we'll head on in um, and take a look around. So obviously area to the front of the property, nice and low maintenance, all laid sort of gravel and, uh, and shingle there. And then the, the kind of classic tile effect pathway going into the porch. Um, lots of these sort of period features have been retained in this property. Um, you can't really see it at the moment because I've opened the door because I don't have to stop with keys. Um, but again, you've got still a really, really lovely front door with all the original kind of um, detailing there, um, which just gives a really nice approach to the property. So front door opens into small porch area, um, ideal spots that come in, take shoes off, etc. Um, and then we're second door that leads through into the there we go main hallway so this property has got lots and lots and lots of lovely features and um, period features that you would expect to see in this kind of property and um, but also lots and lots of lovely sort of attention to detail finishes like these sort of carpet runners that go through and they also follow through upstairs um, you've got exposed boards sort of down through in the lounge and the hallway but with this lovely runner through as well so that it sort of protects the wood and gives you something nice and soft to walk on um, as you would hope to see in uh, one of these properties you've got your molded plaster work you've got your um, sort of shaped um, coving up there um, and obviously kind of uh, carved banisters etc so it keeps that kind of really nice period features that you expect to see in these kind of properties um, so heading round to the right, we come into the lounge. Now, the lounge is a really nice size. Um, you've got that lovely fireplace in there, which really adds to the kind of features of the house. And again, you've got those kind of moulded um, ceiling rows above. Um, lots and lots of details in here. You've got sort of built-in shelving units to either side of the fireplace. And then a really nicely built-in kind of uh, storage unit there. You've got the lovely bay window to the front, nice big windows overlooking, really nice high ceilings throughout this property. As I said before, you've got stripped floorboards throughout downstairs, and then you've got the runner in the hallway, and obviously the current owners have a rug down in here. But the, the floorboards have been stripped to a really good standard, lovely colour as well. Um, decor throughout with this property is in really good condition. Nice and neutral throughout with the odd sort of little splash of a feature colour that just works so nicely. But the basic sort of decor is neutral. So it'd be very, very easy for anybody to add their own sort of personal take on without having to necessarily do too much work. So coming out of the lounge, we then come round the corner um, back through the hallway. Now, one other feature to mention in this hallway, um, you've got a really nice little cupboard here. That has been fitted out with, um, obviously, power and plumbing for washing machines. So it sort of keeps all of that out of the kitchen because, as you see when we go through, the kitchen is a really nice social space as well. So you've got nice spacious hallway, additional area kind of down here for sort of storage, etc. if needed. And then we come through to kitchen. So through here, we then come through to kitchen dining space. This is a really lovely room, nice and spacious. Again, you've got sort of period features like the kind of ceiling roses, etc. Um, but the fixtures and fittings and finish in here are to a really high standard. So you've got units and shelving that have been built in either side of the fireplace to here. 
you've got this really lovely green colour, which is such a strong colour, but against the kind of neutrals and whites around it, it just sits well. But again, it'd be very easy to alter if it wasn't to anybody's particular taste. Um, again, moving forward, you've got patio doors out to the garden. I'll head out there in a second. And then obviously the kitchen itself sort of folds back around that corner um, to there. So you've got lovely tiling all the way around. The kitchen itself is sort of white, um, really nice sort of standard of finish. You've got a slimline dishwasher that's integrated as well. Gas hob, electric oven, extractor over, room for an upright fridge freezer to that side also. But as you can see panning around, plenty of space for a dining area as well. Just a really nice sociable space. Um, it's a nice kitchen. And then coming out to the rear, we've got a garden. Now, properties in Peveril do tend to have sort of um, courtyards, um, but this one is a particularly nice one. Obviously, you have got power, you have got water out here, you've got a run round of raised beds, your wall to both sides, um, small pond in here. But again, all these kind of walkway spaces are all graveled, um, so nice and low maintenance. Got a little pond in there. You've got gate for rear access into the kind of rear access lane. And then just down at the bottom here, we've got storage shed oh, with a slightly sticky door because <laughs> it's wooden, so it does swell a little bit. But as you can see, really good storage space in there as well. Um, so, yeah, a really lovely courtyard garden to the rear. And this is south facing, so you do get a lot of sunshine across this garden um i've been in and out of here today a couple of times and i can tell you it really is a lovely bit of outside space so coming back into the house we come back through the kitchen and then we head on upstairs so upstairs we are three bedrooms and a bathroom again all finished to the same really high standard so you've got this lovely carpet runner that goes on upstairs um with the kind of white exposed wood either side small landing at the top and then we go into bathroom so as you can see bathroom is finished to a really high standard tiled through and then you've got bath with shower over so the other nice thing in here again really nice high ceilings and um, just gives the property feeling of space and then back out onto the hallway, you've got that little runner that tucks around. Nice little details in this property. A lot of thought and care has gone into what's been done. That little access door, if you notice, the bath panel to the side is tiled. That little access door gives access to underneath the bath. So if works are ever needed, if access is needed to that underneath of the bath area, it can be done so without having to pull all the tiling off. So lots of thought, lots of care, lots of attention to detail has been given. So landing as you come up, um, you've got that carpet runner that leads you nicely into each bedroom, which I just really like that feature. It just makes me smile. Um, nice size hallway in that you've got space here for additional storage. Nice big pull down loft hatch with um, fold out ladder. Loft is partially boarded as well, so good, good usable space up there. Um, and then as we go through, we are three bedrooms. First bedroom, um, I would say probably the second bedroom. The bedroom to the front is a slightly larger. But this is a really nice size double bedroom. Nice big window overlooking the rear of the property, so south facing. And then we've got built-in storage here, which sort of accommodates the space to the side of the fireplace again. So the actual kind of inset is not deep enough necessarily to be a wardrobe. So what has been done is that space has been brought out slightly to make a standard wardrobe size, which is really good um, and done to a really nice standard. Coming out of this bedroom, we then come round the corner to main bedroom. So the bigger bedroom at the front of the property again, we've got the same detail in either side of the um, fireplace. So the alcoves have been brought forward to accommodate good size built-in wardrobes. You've got feature fireplace there and then that nice bay window to the front, um, which is overlooking um, obviously the street outside. A um, little bit of a tree out the front, which is 
very nice for watching birds hopping around on which I was doing earlier and um, but as you can see really nice big window to the front giving a really nice sort of feel into a bright light and airy bedroom and then coming back through to the hallway we then come to the third and final bedroom which is a single um not a bad size single um and again decor throughout to a really really high standard um and just yeah a really nice bright airy uh well thought out property so if you would like any further information about this property or if you would like to arrange a viewing which i would strongly recommend please give our office a quick call on Plymouth 791 333. Thank you.